Okay, so my topic was food deserts. And a food desert is any rural or urban area um, that that you live in that is within one mile of a grocery store. So it's harder for families to get fresh produce or um, get, you know, um, what's that word? Um, inexpensive meals. And so it's just full of convenience stores, which obviously is just only gonna sell sugar and sweets. Um, there are nine food deserts in Multnomah County, and most of them are east of 82nd Avenue. Um, in the U.S., there are 23.5 million people living in food deserts, and about half of those are low-income families. Um, I chose this topic because in high school, my mom didn't have a car, and she lived past 82nd. And so whenever I went on the weekends to visit her, we'd go grocery shopping, and we'd have to take the bus, and it would take at least 30 minutes to get to a grocery store. and. You know, usually when you go grocery shopping, you're not going to get a small amount. You're going to get a lot. And hauling those on the bus is the most painful thing that anyone can do. And if you're with younger kids, at least I was in high school, but with younger kids, I can't even imagine. You know, you're trying to hold the kids and food. Um, so that's why I chose this topic. Um, reading, I could really relate to what I had gone through in high school with my mom. Um, there, on the uh, website for the Department of Agriculture, there's a food desert map, so you can just put in your address and it'll tell you where the nearest food desert is compared to where you live. Um, in June of this year, OPB did a special. It was a series called East of 82nd Avenue, and they did a whole bunch of different segments, and one of them was about raising children in food deserts, and it talked about it interviewed families and kids and um, their, you know, how they had to go to the bus and, you know, take hour long trips to get groceries. Um, and then one of them was talking about how their elementary school had a food pantry that they would go and get food once a week. But even those, like, if you don't have a car, I mean, those are still going to be hard for any family. Um, and in Portland, 40% of the children that live in the city of Portland live in a food desert. So, um, and then, you know, if you look at connected to education, you know, if a kid's not eating healthy food, they're not going to um, perform well. They're not going to be, not going to have the energy to work. Um, so, yeah, it was interesting to learn about.